Have you ever pondered over the mystery of the invisible universe that surrounds us? A universe teeming with dark matter unseen and elusive? This is where our journey begins as we delve into the enigmatic realm of dark matter. This unidentified type of matter is a cosmic chameleon, invisible to the entire electromagnetic spectrum. It neither emits nor interacts with electromagnetic radiation, like light or radio waves, making it seemingly impossible to detect. Yet, despite its elusive nature, there's an undeniable certainty of its existence. This assurance stems from its discernible gravitational effects on visible matter radiation and the large-scale structure of the universe. We see galaxies spinning at speeds that should tear them apart, yet they hold together, suggesting an unseen gravitational glue at work. Dark matter, though invisible, leaves an indelible footprint on the cosmos. So, the question arises, how can something so invisible be made visible? Imagine a world where the invisible becomes visible. A world where dark matter morphs into something we can see, touch, and feel. That's the world of today's cutting-edge astrophysics. Now let's dive into the heart of this fascinating concept. To understand how dark matter can be turned into visible light, we first need to understand a type of particle known as WIMP, or weakly interacting massive particles. These elusive particles are the leading candidates for dark matter. They're called weakly interacting because they barely interact with normal matter. They're like ghosts, passing through everything in their path without a trace. But what happens when these wimps meet each other? It's a cosmic fireworks show. They annihilate each other and produce gamma rays, a form of light that we can detect. These rays are like the footprints of dark matter, visible clues to something invisible. The detection of these gamma rays isn't an easy task. It requires highly sensitive detectors designed to pick up the faintest signals from the farthest corners of the universe. Every detected ray is a small victory in our quest to illuminate the dark. But the story doesn't end there. There's another way we can make dark matter visible, and that's through gravitational lensing. You see, despite being invisible, dark matter has gravity. This gravity can bend and magnify the light of distant galaxies, much like a giant cosmic lens. By studying this magnified light, we can map the distribution of dark matter in the universe. It's like painting a picture with invisible ink, then bringing it to life with a special light. So in essence, we're turning the invisible dark matter into visible light. We're using the power of science to peek into the mysteries of the universe. We're making the unseen seen, the unknown known. We're illuminating the invisible. In simple terms, scientists are turning the invisible dark matter into visible light, allowing us to peek into the mysteries of the universe. The universe is a cosmic jigsaw puzzle, and dark matter is one of its most elusive pieces. As we've journeyed through this topic, we've delved into the seemingly unfathomable nature of dark matter and how this invisible entity can be transformed into visible light. Let's recap. Dark matter, though unseen, exerts a gravitational pull that influences the movement of galaxies, yet its true form remains a mystery. Scientists propose that weakly interacting massive particles, or WIMPs, make up dark matter. When these WIMPs collide and annihilate each other, they emit a burst of light, turning the invisible visible. Furthermore, we've discussed gravitational lensing, a phenomenon that allows us to perceive the existence of dark matter. As light passes through the gravitational field of dark matter, it bends, producing a cosmic mirage of sorts. Lastly, we touched upon the vital role sensitive detectors play in capturing these ephemeral moments of illumination. As the quest to unravel the mysteries of dark matter continues, remember, every invisible particle holds the potential to illuminate the cosmos in ways we can't even imagine yet.